simulation of dependent sources by using MATLAB Simulink. By taking this example, we can understand the how to uh, simulate the dependent sources. Here, this is called uh, current controlled voltage source and this is called current controlled current source. In this circuit, one, one circuit is having two dependent sources, current controlled voltage source and current controlled current source. This current controlled voltage source is depends upon this current, current flow into the two ohm resistor and this current controlled current source is depends upon current flow into the one ohm resistor. So by connecting this circuit in MATLAB Simulink, you can understand the results, uh, what is the values of IX, IY and VZ. So by using MATLAB Simulink, you can understand the uh, what is the values of IX, IY, VZ. Okay. Open MATLAB, press uh, Simulink. Okay, icon, then MATLAB open like this. So here, yeah, so what is our circuit? So the circuit is having two sources, uh, uh, these two sources and also two resistors. That's why take one resistor. Okay. Resistor right here, resistor. Take this element, a resistor. Two resistors are required. So press Control R and rotate it like this. Okay, place here. And also uh, copy like this. So like this, two resistors are required. And then one voltage source and one current source is required. Here voltage source and here current uh, current source. Hmm. Right here, your voltage source. Vol DC voltage source is required. DC voltage source. DC voltage source. So press Ctrl R and rotate like this. This is our DC voltage source. The next uh, one current source is required. Right here, DC current source. DC current source. DC current source. Don't take uh, this type of current source and another current source. DC current source. So Okay, DC current source and the direction of the DC current source is a uh, right side. That's why press control R. This is called current source. DC current source and uh, this is called resistor. So resistance of the resistor is called how much here resistance of the resistor? One ohm and two ohm resistor. Only two resistors are required. One ohm. The resistance is called one ohm. 1 ohm resistor and uh, this resistor is called what is the resistance 2 ohm so 2 ohm resistor open this by default it is 1 ohm resistor no need to change and here there is a 1 it will become 2 and then close like this this is called 2 ohm resistor Okay. The next, uh, what is required next uh, voltage source, current source is over and the next, uh, this is called current controlled voltage source, current controlled voltage source, right here current controlled voltage source, current controlled Current controlled voltage source. Current controlled voltage source. And similarly, current controlled current source is required. Next, right here, current controlled current source. Current controlled current source. Current controlled. Current controlled current source. Current controlled current source. Like this.
connect all these elements as per circuit diagram this way. Uh, first uh, connect the circle is called source here. The circle represent is called source. That's why connect circle here. Current control to current source. The circle represent as a source. And here also connect this way. The next uh, connection are uh, dependent sources. This current controlled voltage source is depends, uh, depending on current flowing to the 2 ohm resistor. Am I right? So from the circuit diagram, this current Ix, it depends upon current flow into the 2 ohm resistor, upward direction. Okay. That's why uh, your current na, delayed this element and then the current entering like the, to the dependent source and leaving from the dependent source in this way. This is the connection. Current dependent current source. This current source is depends upon this current flow into the 2 ohm resistor. So this arrow and this arrow same way we have to connect. So to connect like this in this way. And the next uh, this connection is over and the current, current control voltage source is over. Then current control current source. It is this, this current control current source is depends upon this 1 ohm resistor like this. 1 ohm resistor. Current in its downwards downside direction. So that's why here uh, remove this uh, element and connect here. Current is downward direction. That's why this direction this and both are same. All right. The current is downward direction I by. That's why I by. So leaving from one ohm resistor and uh, flowing to this ohm res this resource resistor and connected to the ground in this way leaving from one ohm resistor and connect flowing to the dependent source downside direction and then this way okay this is called our connection and the next uh, one reference is required electrical reference electrical reference electrical reference uh, and this electrical reference like this connect here electrical reference next one solver configuration is required solver configuration solver configuration like this this way we have to connect okay next uh, Connection is over and then what is the values of voltage source? This voltage source is called minus 2 volts. Minus 2. And uh, this is what current uh, is called 11. 11 amps. Okay. 11 amps. 11 amps and then 6 Ix and 2 Iy. Here 6. Uh, this is called 6. And here 2. Okay, like this we have connection is over and then this is also DC voltage source minus 2 volts. Here DC current source 11 amps and uh, 6 and uh, here 2. Current again is called 2. And 1 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor. And connect, everything is connected as per circuit diagram. And then save. After that, uh, uh, for example, to measure the current, uh, mm, here we have to connect one current sensor and also to measure the current here, here also one current sensor is required and uh, to measure the voltage across the DC current source when here one voltage sensor is required. Right here. 
dependent dependent source dependent that's it it's taking some time to to save and also simulate okay wait for some time So in this circuit, uh, there is a small mistake. So what does that mean? Say this is called current is downside direction. So that's why we have to connect uh, the current in downside direction. Okay. So that's why change this uh, delete. Otherwise, uh, remove the connections. Remove connections and rotate uh, like this. Current is downside. Okay, connect re again in this way. Circle represents current direction. Current is downside direction, and uh, and here the current is downside direction. Uh, that's why current leaving from one ohm resistor and uh, and then current flow into the to, uh, this dependent source. So that's why this connection is required like this. This is called voltage sensor. To measure the voltage, the uh, voltage sensor is required. So this is the actual connection and then simulate. The DC voltage source here pass two and negative. One more mistake is also there. So here this side is pass two and this side is negative. So con control R rotate like this. Left side is pass two and right side is negative. Left side is pass two and right side is negative. That's why connect like this and the connect again. And uh, open this minus two volts. Okay, fine. So this is the connection and also the current direction here. Uh, right side is okay, fine. And uh, next. Uh, plus minus this DC voltage source here pass to and negative that's why source is here also same way pass to negative and your current is downside direction that's why current is downside direction okay fine and then a stir uh, like this the connection circuit connection is over and then next to uh, if you want to know the voltage across the DC voltage source this voltage source so here we have to find what is the values of i y, what is the values of i x, what is the values of v z. Okay, here current sensor is required. Here one voltage sensor is required. Take one voltage sensor. Voltage sensor. Voltage sensor. Place this voltage sensor here, and connect positive to here, and negative here. Okay, pass to here. This side pass two and this side negative. That's why so the voltage sensor pass two connected here and then negative connected to here. And then the next one PS simulink converter is required. PS simulink converter is required. Connect. PS simulink convert connector. And then take one display. Display. Place here. This is the connection and then simulate. And then what is the voltage here? Minus uh, 8.6 uh, Simulate here. And then the voltage across this uh, voltage source is called 10 amps, 10 volts. 10 volts. Here. Uh, one ohm resistor and this is called two ohm resistor and uh, here six and depends upon current uh, flowing to this two ohm resistor 
and then leaving like this and then next uh, this is current control current source and two and uh, current uh, downwards direction and uh, next uh, the current leaving one ohm resistor and entering like this same as okay circuit diagram and uh, what is the this uh, 11 amps this is called dc voltage source one ohm resistor this is called one ohm resistor this is called current controlled source current controlled voltage source here this is called current controlled current source and then this is called two ohm resistor two ohm resistor previous one is called one ohm resistor this is called one ohm resistor and uh, this is called dc voltage source dc current source and then simulate and uh, you will get the voltage across the dc current source is called 10 volts and then next uh, to measure the current flow into the uh, this uh, one ohm resistor we have to require one current source required current source okay that's why I take one current sensor, current sensor connect in series with this uh, resistor. Let's do. So, right here current sensor, current sensor, place this current sensor here and remove this uh, resistor and uh, current entering this uh, and then connect what is the direction of current here downside direction okay current is downside direction that's why connect uh, the current sensor a current sensor current sensor pass to connect here negative here and then one ps simulating converter is required place here ps simulating converter and then one more display one display is required then simulate Then six six amps current flow into this uh, this resistor is called six amps. Okay. Current is downside direction. Here we have to connect one current meter a meter. Okay. Here positive connected here negative connected. That's why it shows like this. Uh, current is called what is this current minus six amps. And then next, uh, similarly, current flow into the two ohm resistor. Current flow into the two ohm resistor, upward direction. Okay. That's why connect one one current sensor here. Here also one current sensor is required. In series with this meter, uh, two ohm resistor. For example, I'm connected here. Current sensor. Connect here positive to the positive, uh, here uh, second terminal to here, and then here to this way, and then one power simulink converter is required. Here simulink converter, and then one display, and then simulate. So one amps. Current flow into the two ohm resistor is called one amps. Current flow into the one ohm resistor. This is called IX. IY. IY is called one ohm resistor. And uh, IY is called current flow into the IY. Uh, IY is nothing but minus six amps. And uh, VZ is called 10 volts. And the next uh, uh, IX is called one amps. Okay. So like this. Uh, this circuit can be simulated.
by using MATLAB simulator.